and Kelly. Mm. Yeah, that's that's fucked up. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, when you in that game, you can't be out here looking for fame. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Rallo. He a, he a young nigga. He doing his thing. He on the come up. He was fame chasing, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that in a negative way. I understand you got some illegal money. You trying to turn this shit over to legal money. But at the end of the day, you can't be on the motherfucking internet. You go a million dollars right here. This $600,000 right here. Fuck you get six hundred from. Fuck you get a million dollars from, nigga. Now, I'm not saying that from my standpoint. I'm saying that from the police standpoint. Nigga, you ain't sold no records that have a million dollars. Fuck you get a million dollars from. Investigation. Now you done made your own self a smoking pistol. You hear me? Now you're hot as a forest fire. For what? To show niggas that you getting money? You showing niggas that you getting money when you pull up in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But niggas be doing shit for the gram. You can't be doing shit for the gram when you really moving grams. Feel me? That shit get you caught up. And as you can see, the niggas caught up. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I wish the nigga the best of luck, man. I hope, you know, he get about that situation. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, to the, all the other niggas out here who really getting money in these streets, you ain't got nothing to prove, man. So, yo, when, when, you, when, you, when you should be trying to prove something is when you done turned that shit over to some legal money, man. And now your shit all legal and you ain't got to worry about them people's busting it. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Big Meech is a, is a, is a, is a real nigga. Is a good nigga. But he was doing the same shit. You, you got billboards in Atlanta. You niggas ain't sold no records yet. So where, who paid for this? Where this shit come from? How you niggas got all these Bentleys and Ferraris? Who, who, you niggas ain't sold no records. So, you know, at the end of the day, to all the up-and-coming young niggas, y'all learn from other niggas' mistakes. Because one thing I can guarantee you, if, 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 if Rallo and Meech and, and niggas like that could do that shit over, they would. You, you would take a different route or a different route. You feel what I'm saying? Instead of me being a, the main marketer and promoter for this shit, I'm going to hire some marketing and promoting people. And just let them promote the artists and I'm going to stay the fuck out the way. Because at the end of the day, none of this money is worth doing 10, 15, 20, 30 years in prison, man. Some niggas don't realize that until they get there. And then they have around a bunch of niggas who lying, talking about they was getting money, but these niggas ain't got $17.22 on their books. Niggas can't get nothing at commissary. You hear what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, to all the up-and-coming young niggas, who really getting money in these streets, play it smart, nigga. Because I'm going to tell you, it's the doors that never close for you, nigga, is the doors to the penitentiary, nigga. They always open. And they got a bed for you, nigga. They always going to have a bed and a motherfucking little blanket for you, nigga. So just keep that in mind.